Welcome back everyone to another Coach Blakers video. Coach Blakers, why do I say it with an S all the time? But well, welcome back to another Coach Blaker video. We're gonna be playing Udyr today. I know a lot of you guys probably have been wanting this type of full gameplay commentary. This is gold. I debated playing it on uh, my diamond account, but, but I realized that it's probably gonna get banned out a lot more because players actually understand the capabilities of champions and higher elos. So I decided to just play it in gold. Also, one thing I thought about too is like, if I play it in this elo, you guys are more or less used to this elo, right? And this is probably the elo that you guys want to see played to. So it's kind of like a half and half. But anyway, I'm taking Phase Rush instead of Conquer. Um, I told you guys, if you guys are going to go Phoenix, you can go Conquer or Phase Rush. If you want to go Tag, you can go Press the Attack or uh, Phase Rush. I'm more of a Phase Rush guy. If you're going to go Conquer, I recommend going, or, or Press the Attack, I re recommend going Ghost because you're a lot quicker. Um, I haven't looked at any Udyr guides. I haven't really, I haven't looked at any builds or anything like that. This is just things that I'm going to be basically going off of what I know in terms of playing this champion. Um, like I said before, uh, Udyr is my boy. One of the champions that I know a lot of and know a lot about. And so I, I don't really like looking towards guides and looking towards builds because I just, I just know, I like to trial and error myself. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying that anybody's builds are bad or anything. I just like to trial and error myself. So, at least with this particular guy. Uh, if it was anybody else, then yeah, I'll look up some stuff. I usually do. I never go off my own experience just because there's a lot of ideas out there. And I always encourage people to look at those ideas. And I encourage people to, to really go out their way to try to get better at their champions and whatnot. But for Udyr specifically, I don't do that. With every other champion, I do. Um, okay. So, as I was saying, though, you can, if you're taking Press the Attack, you're taking... Uh, conquer I recommend ghost if you're not go ahead and take your your flash if you're taking phase rush I'm gonna be going Phoenix if you guys like a tiger gameplay Let me know and I can make one for you, but I'll be going Phoenix this game We have a scion into Cho'Gath, so I'm not really particularly interested in pathing towards top That'll be fine. I'm gonna to play towards bottom There's gonna be more action bottom and there's gonna be more action mid we have two tanks top They're gonna to be doing nothing. I mean they might ain't who knows but a they're not the carries of this game and B they're tanks. I mean, who cares? I'm not going to say I'm never going to go up there and I'm going to hesitate going up there, but we're definitely not playing towards that side. As a jungler, you always want to play towards the the proper side. Oops, I didn't even start my queue. My bad. I'm trolling already. I'm too busy talking. Um, I wish I got a leash. I notice a lot, especially in lower elos. You don't really get that many of leashes. You're just kind of stuck doing camps by yourself. Kind of sucks. Um, I'm going to smite at 450 so I can get a rotation of a new spell coming in. Okay. You might be wondering, well, you could have gone turtle since you're doing single camps. I could have, but I get more damage out of it if I just go Phoenix second, even if I do get kind of low. All right. And Tiger is a more aggressive play style. It always has been over Phoenix. So you're going to see me kind of be a little bit more passive this game. And uh, you're going to see me looking to ramp up. That's what, that's what you're doing when you're playing Phoenix, is you're looking to ramp up, you know? You're not looking to to make a thousand plays everywhere. You're looking to ramp up. I usually wait to put a, a point in my W before my E, before I can see if I have to participate in any fights, but with the matchups, I just know I don't have to. They're not the type of champions that would straight up kill each other early. So we're just doing our thing. Doing our thing, doing our thing. And we're just clearing, you know? We're just chilling. So there's a fight happening right now. Not really something I'm concerned about because she shouldn't really be ganking at this point in time. Just gonna keep watching to see if we can burn any sums. I think fire is flash, maybe. I didn't really, really see, but I know he healed. Um, again, things like that, especially for a champion like Belvath, slow down their pace, which means that they don't know it, but they just kind of screw themselves. They kind of just screw themselves, and they don't even know it, but they're screwed. You'll see what I mean later into the game. But a lot of what happens with jungle is about ramifications. You know, a lot of what jungle is like, you don't really know how you just screwed yourself until it shows up later. So you guys will see. Um, definitely can go for a gank here. Oh, she just screwed herself again. Because I'm four and she's not. Uh, that sucks. I might have to fly. Uh, team? Team? Or we're just gonna go for this. He's going to toss it back, get the slow on him. Okay. Well, these guys are not the best, unfortunately. Okay, we got one. Okay. 
I mean, like I said, they're not the best, unfortunately. Uh, but it happens, you know? You gotta work with what you got. We know that she didn't do her blue buff yet. I'm extremely low, though. But if we can wait for my passive, I'll actually be incredibly healthy. Like, I'll be able to kill her. Because she should be low. Um, I'm kind of scared, because I don't want to face check. But I know I have a ward. Okay, so she just backed. Like I said, she kind of screwed herself. Her, her tempo's off. She shouldn't have done that. So we got a kill. She don't have blue buff. Um, or she doesn't have blue buff. Excuse my English. And she just she just screwed herself. Like, she hard screwed herself there. Her camps are spawning in a weird order. The way she's pathing is strange. And this is the type of thing, like, if you play in a higher elo, you just get hard punished for. I'm going to go Dark Seal. Um, I usually do like to go Dark Seal first. I feel like it's better. Oops, I didn't mean to buy the scanner. Let's go back to our yellow. I like to have our yellow throughout the game just so that I can ward a little bit more for my team. I've actually realized that for the past, like, I don't know, the past, like, couple of, um, the past couple of, like, days, I've noticed that I like to go in yellow trinket because I can spot where the enemy jungler is, and I feel like it's a lot more efficient doing that. Um, we could probably catch this guy if he helps. Oh, he's really, really low. I was going to empower E, but he's really, really low. It's just not worth it. Um, but yeah, I've noticed that using the yellow trinkets is kind of OP. So I like to use them. When it's single target, use your Q. It's always better. Uh, I think he's dead. But yeah, I, I shouldn't have went. My phone also rang, so... Uh, I kind of took my hand off the uh, the keyboard, or else I would have stopped it from like overleashing like that. But again, simple stuff like that you can't do much about. Remember, when you're playing Phoenix, it's all about just kind of ramping yourself up. It's about becoming stronger later. That's the whole part of it. Of course, as I always say, if you guys are interested in coaching, coachblicker.com is where you want to go. I don't just coach jungle. I coach all the roles and all the champions. So if you guys feel like, you know, you guys would like that extra push, push in the right direction. Um, if you guys really want to reach your goals, especially before this end of the season, because it's coming up real quick in a couple of months. Um, I definitely recommend that. Coachblicker.com, where you want to go. I'm probably going to keep saying it throughout the video. So you guys are probably going to hate me. Um, hmm. Okay, she's level 5 too. I'm almost level 6 though. I would be level 6 if I play, if I uh, got that top grab. But uh, Cho'Gath, of course, wants to get it. Don't you guys hate that, man? do you guys hate when, like, laners jungle for the jungler? It's like, man, do something with your life. I already know she's going to gank. Why? Because she's ganked two times already. I don't know if the tri-bush is warded, but I'm pretty sure this length of patch isn't warded. So we're just going to chill. My camps are already spawning, so I don't really have a reason to do anything right now. We're just going to chill. Again, it's not about forcing plays all the time. It's about just kind of playing slower. Playing off of uh, things like crab. Playing off of things like uh, dragons. Playing off of things like this. Again, she screwed herself. Her camps are up. That's mine. Even though she did get a kill, she just screwed herself. And I'm not basically saying... AFK farm. That's not what I'm telling you guys to do. It's a big difference. It's about taking advantage of the opportunities you're given when you're playing Phoenix. Because when you are big, you are big. But you gotta get there first. And the higher ELO you go up, the harder this is to implement. So learning it at the basic stage now is huge. Like I said, a lot of players tend to make a lot of mistakes um, in lower ELOs. In higher ELOs, usually their ganks are a lot more successful. They don't really just go for weird ganks. Uh, we see that he's there. We're just gonna smite. Well, hello. I didn't need to stun him there. Yeah, I just screwed myself. But this is why we have phase rush. This is why we have phase rush, boys. Okay, Bogoth got that, so we get dragged instantly. There's no, there's no fear. We we are gonna be able to get this drag period because of the fact that uh. You know, she stopped. We killed bottom. There's no fear. I do want Kaisa to rotate, though. 
She has no R. We, we need the team to rotate. Uh, what's her face isn't here though, so it's not really much of an issue. Can we just finish the thing? Literally, we're all out of mana. Ooh. Okay. Huh. I'm not out of mana, so we can just straight up kill this dude. We're gonna just turtle the uh, stun card. Ah, uh, Kaisa. We're gonna go for this blue buff too. Okay, so she's probably either A in my jungle, B gonna gank this guy. So we're gonna just ping him back. Let him know. I might not get this. Oh, she's actually here. But I can't get it on smite. And also, my team is back, so it's not worth it. Okay, so you might be in a situation where it's like, oh, six my camp, camp syrup. How do I make it? So do I have to recall? What you want to do is you want to go Raptors, Red into Krugs, recall, and then path down again. That way, your pathing isn't screwed up, and you can continue to path exactly how you want it to. Now, Zahar is actually six. We know this, um, but he didn't have any mana in that fight, which is why I didn't want to have that fight. Paying attention to the resources of your team is very, very, very important before you commit to doing anything. Because Varus Ding near entered over the wall, it was a free fight, but I didn't really want to fight that. I just wanted to get the dragon get out. Although I rejuvenate mana, um, or regenerate mana, doesn't mean I want to take that fight, because my team doesn't. Okay, looks like she's about to drop that rift mid. Um, not really my concern. She should be able to ha he should be able to handle that by himself. Mazahar's really good at wave clearing, and I have to recall. But he didn't even try to handle that? Rough. I feel like he's griefing. It is what it is, though. Uh probably Mercs. I feel like that I feel like that Mal's was griefing. I feel like he could have held that. I feel like he could have held that. He was just afraid. But we already know that Vex used their ultimate, so that's not a threat. And we already know that uh, Belvath is melee. So he was just afraid. So she did take my camps. Uh-oh. I'm here, though. Okay, they're not taking that fight because they see me. And we just keep doing our thing. Okay, I actually passed the opposite way on accident. I just trolled. To be fair, though, my teammates... Uh, or not my teammates. My... Uh, The enemy jungler took my camps. All right, so we're gonna be going turtle second because bear, I think, is fast enough already, especially once you get things like, uh, what is that thing called? Once you get that thing called, uh, what is that thing called, man? There's an item, Ugh! force of nature. I always wanna call it thimble winter. Well, Force of Nature. Once you get Force of Nature, you're really fast. Dead Man's really fast. And also, Uter Period is really fast. And I'm taking Phase Rush. I feel like if you're not taking Phase Rush, you might need a few points into your... Uh, into your... Well, hello. I kind of seen that coming. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, if you take Phase Rush, you're kind of already extremely fast. If you don't take Phase Rush, you're going to be a little bit slower. I haven't actually tested the Conqueror into the Turtle, from the Turtle, but I probably would do the same thing. The speed isn't really that necessary because you're already really, really quick. I mean, you could go Swifties, and then you'll be good to go. That'll work, too. I'm only going to get one plate because there's no way that I can get more. We're just going to take our camp so we know she's bot side. i just seen her. We know he's right there. I mean, all right, then. I actually just win. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you die here. And then I'm pretty sure you die here too, buddy. Again, it's all about ramifications, bro. She Look at her items compared to mine. She didn't do anything. She just walked around and kept ganking. And this is why people think jungle is easy. Because a lot of people, especially in low elo, tend to walk around and just gank. And it works because the enemy jungler has no clue what they're doing. You know, it's more about the instant gratification. But if the enemy jungler actually knows, like, dude, you're, you're literally just farming my, my laners while I'm farming people. Or while I'm farming your camps and you're doing dragon when you don't really need to do dragon. Or you're doing rift herald and you're taking 30 years to do it. Like, all that time. What? Did he just, like, int? All that time that is just being wasted, I can use to just get bigger and bigger. I don't think I can actually like I should kill this guy, but YOLO. Maybe I can. Oh, I can. Uh, not with her here. 
Why does she keep thinking she can fight me? What's wrong with these people, bro? Does he have R? Or you think he used it? I'm pretty sure he used it. I don't have any mana. I should have let her into the jungle. Or maybe I can bait it. Hmm, I could bait this. Check it. Check the place. Oh, fuck. Active flash to get my auto attack off. Get baited. Okay, I don't, I don't fuck with that guy. <laughs> Look, I don't, I don't mess with the Cho Gath. I don't mess with the Cho Jeezy. The Cho, the Cho Geezy. Uh, I'll wait for it to R. Okay, well she did an R. Um, I'm gonna get that ripped out after I take this. Again, with League of Legends, knowing your champion is way better than knowing or then playing what's meta and especially in lower elos again people don't actually understand what your champions do in more than you because people people might play them a lot but people don't actually read between the lines and i feel like that's why riot has just a really hard time balancing the game sometimes because udir and high elo i feel like if he's played properly he's actually really really good whereas in lower elo let's talk about a champ like kindred or a champ like uh talia right those champions in low elo just don't have that six don't have that high success rate that they would in high elo for obvious reasons all right so i've actually stayed on the map for a lot longer but udir is one of those champions where you realistically can stay on the map for a longer time because experience is more important than you like more important to you like levels is more important your base stats are just incredibly high that items don't really suffice a lot of the times so you could just pull it off with uh with base stats bro my top laner is running it I do kind of want red buff, but it's not necessary. You could just take the drag. Just take the drag. Take the drag. Okay. Well, they don't want to. I'm going to put a pink. They don't know that I hopped over. Oh, maybe we can just take it before they die. Do not run here. Oh, my God. Now I have to freaking 1v1 smite battle. Okay. We're fine. Oh, we're fine, buddies. Like I said, they didn't really have to end. So when you have think, are you like kidding? I will dog you, kid. Oh, she's actually a lot stronger than I thought. Um, was that red smite? Jesus, was it Kraken? Jesus, is just Borg, bro. But uh, what was I saying? I'm sorry. It's it's hard to talk and play at the same time sometimes, especially because I'm thinking a lot more. Like with Udir, he's a chant where you gotta think a lot more. Um, because your champ just sucks, like, mechanically. Oh, I actually died. Yikes. I didn't think about it. That's a lot of damage. Oh, he's going to AP virus. Okay. That was my fault. I didn't, like, respect that he was going to AP virus. And again, I was just kind of talking. I'm not really too worried about losing my Magi stacks. I, I get this kind of a lot. There's a student that I was coaching, and uh, shout outs to you if you're if you're listening. But I was playing Lilia, and I and I bought Dark Seal into Magi's, and I lost all my stacks just like that. And they were like, "Oh, see, now your Magi's is like useless." And I was just thinking, like, "No, not really. Like, I did die on a mistake, but I know that I might easily uh, like you know compensate for that. I'm gonna make up for it. It's not." It's not the end of the world. It's not like I'm not going to get it back. I died because I was dumb. I didn't die because we got out scaled. I didn't die for anything other than I'm just an idiot. And so when you know you can get your stacks back, it's not that much of a waste. Now, if you're not sure you can get your stacks back, then you wasted it. But I know for a fact my stacks is like, they're about to come. This next fight will give me my stacks. I didn't know he was building AP, though. I should have pressed tab. Really, really a, a, a big thing is like really look at these guys' items, see what they're building. Because it does affect how you should play. Like with the AP Varus, his Qs are nasty. His R is nasty. Um, like his Blight. Because if he Rs you, he instantly gets the full Blight. <clears throat> Excuse me. So just paying attention to their build is very, very important. Again, we're not gonna stop farming. We continue to farm. We continue to, to play the exact same, nothing changed. There's just towers that are broken. But we still farm. We still do our thing. We still take advantage of their camps. Um, and when you start opening the map like this, a really good point 
Because that... Alright, we're just going to die with this dude. And he just ulted. What? A really good point is that you start taking the enemy camps like they're yours. Oh, I forgot. He's freaking AD Scion with, like, no... That's kind of cringe. Bro, what is this tower aggro, man? We're just going to throw that back since she ghosted. I literally said, pay attention to your team's build. What do I do? Just ignore. Well, not your team's build, but to, you know, builds. Hello, Mr. I Have No Flash. Thank you. Hello, other Mr. I Have No Flash. Thank you. Uh, Baron's actually coming up. We can actually play for that. Kais is dead, though, but we could play for that for sure. For sure. Okay, no, we can't. I'll lie. I'll lie. Sign on top. I'm a little risky when it comes to taking Barons. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm crazy. Oh, um, by the way, our Magi stacks are back. But the thing is with it is I know I won't lose it again. I lost it because, like I said, I was just an idiot. You take it if you want to. I'll knock you out. Take it if you want to. Okay, well, Kai's will knock you out for me. I don't think she had the flash, but we can get this now. Maybe not. Nope. Is he going to a uh, Cho'Gath feast me? No, he is not. Okay, that's for sure, Baron, though. Um, so everything that I'm doing, as you guys noticed, was just from ramifications. Nothing was from... Anything else? Oh, I meant to use Q. When a single target again, you use your Q. Or with your awakening. But nothing was for me doing anything fancy. No cheese strats, no nothing. But that's how Phoenix works. Tiger. Tiger is the one where you need to be doing those cheese strats. You need to be making those plays. You need to be making stuff happen. That's the one. So you guys have to remember that when you guys play is it's 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 tiger you do the crazy stuff phoenix is you just play a little bit more passive you wait for those ramifications you go for the plays that matter uh, i don't have smite so i'm gonna have to just kind of let this one go not like let it go but like we don't want to smite battle we just want to fight period i do want to farm more but i'm just gonna go for this fight it looks like they're just gonna give it to us though yeah they are because they're just going to kill our top laner so we should be able to get it i don't have smite but it doesn't matter this is perfect. Huge. Win-win. All right, so when you have Baron, the best thing you want to do is you want to try to shove out all the lanes. Um, I don't really personally like to group up too much with Udyr when I... Okay, when well, we have to. Because they're about to fight. You always want to pay attention to stuff like this. She actually flew in. Bro, she's wild. Okay, well, they got that. We're going to just move on. He can't kill me through this. Bro, if he can, I'm going to be really, really sad. We're just going to flash on him. He's going to try to uh, feast me. So we're just going to go and turtle. Double turtle. Just in case he feasts. He just true damages my shield. He's a clap. That was playing the fight. Man, I wanted to go top. I wanted to split push, dude. I wanted to... Go. Help mid. Dude, just, just, just help mid, brother. What are you bottom for? I can do this. I wanted to split. I had to fight that Udyr urge. I had to fight that Udyr urge to not split, man. I did. I really did. But, uh, yeah. Again, if you guys like coaching, ghostbucket.com is where you want to go. Um, I added some new services to my site. So I definitely recommend you guys check that out. I'm pretty sure there's going to be something for everybody. Um, I'm only just saying it because the game looks like it's about to be coming to a close. But... Like I said, if you if you feel like, you know, you want what's best for yourself, if you feel like you want to reach your ranked goals, but you're having a hard time doing it, maybe some games feel impossible. Maybe some games, you know, maybe some games feel impossible. Maybe some games don't feel impossible, but you just end up losing the game anyway, you know. Or maybe you just want to improve your play for yourself. I know there's a lot of players that do that as well. They might not really be hardcore into rank, but they do want to get better. 
be able to hang with their friends, be able to be as good as their friends, family, whatever. So I highly recommend, uh, like I said, checking it out. See if there's a service for you. Because most likely there probably is. But this is just kind of my thing. Um, I think the buffs to, to, to Udyr, the mid-patch. Mid I knew he was going to get buffed. No, no salt to Willie P. But I remember he was saying, I was watching his stream. And he was saying, he, he's fine. He's in a good spot. He does damage. I'm like, D Willie, 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 Willie. It's been years, Willie. He's in a bad spot right now. And then he was in such a bad spot, they gave him an update mid-patch. Like, mid-patch, they buffed him. So, like, um, I, I'm never like, oh, you know, this is my specific champion. I know exactly what I should be. Like, I just, I just know everything. I don't really, like, think about it that way. I'm not saying Willie does. I'm just saying in general. Um, I go based off of just the play of how it was before. Um, I go based off the feeling, and it just didn't feel right for, for how, you know, I play my game. It didn't feel right at all. So I'm glad that they did buff them in some ways to make them a little bit better. Again, this is a gold game. Um, I'd be more like a, like a gold two-ish game. But that is, that is pretty much how you'd want to play Phoenix Udyr. Like I said, if you guys are like a Tiger Udyr game, let me know in the comments below. I'll go ahead and uh, make that for you guys. Um, I definitely don't mind doing that. I personally think the best way to climb right now is Phoenix. I know, I know. But I personally think the best way to climb right now is Phoenix. If you guys do want a Tiger though, I don't mind. I do both of them on, uh, um, in, in like every ELO. But as I said before, um, it's usually banned in high elo, so I can't really get them as often. So um, if I can get it, but I just if I can get it, I'll get it. But I'm not the type to just throw my <laughs> throw my dodges away because we can't keep dodging. You'll be locked out for 12 hours or 24 hours, and I ain't got time for that. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching again. Coachplay.com. If you guys are interested in coaching, if you guys have any questions about anything that I've done this game, by all means, let me know in the comments below. Peace, peace, late, late. Have a good rest of your day or night, and thank you guys for approaching this like a coach.